Hello, George from OneSite Solutions here. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to pull in data from a air quality sensor made by AirThings using OSS Easy API and OAuth2 authorization. So first thing you're going to want to do is uh, make yourself a API client. This is ours. And uh, in this, you will receive your client ID along with your secret, which is um, your, your password in effect. And you want to choose a trusted website um, or one that you maintain yourselves. We've just used our website for this example. And you want to set flow type to authorization code. Now this is how the redirects us to a the, the URL you have chosen and in the body of the URL you will receive a code. And what you with that code you exchange it for a bearer token. And then with that token you can send requests for the data that you need. So first thing we want to do is start by using this URL along with our client ID in there and that redirect URL. I have already built mine, so what I'll do is I'll put it into the search bar ready for when we need it, as the returned code does not last very long. So in the meantime, we'll go to our wire sheet and drop an API request from the OSS Easy API palette and name this token. In here, you want to drop the token URL. So when we go back to the wire sheet, we can drop that in like so. The method is post. So now we're going to save and refresh and it's opened up the body. Authorization is none as the authorization is sent through the data in the body to their server. So what we need to do is add a header entry of content type. and make that application JSON. Press enter. Now in the body, we want to drop this in there, but this has to be filled out with our, um, our credentials. So if we just drop that in there like so, we can paste it and then we can change all the necessaries so we need our client ID. So if we copy that and drop it in here. Now our client secret. Authorization code will pop in there in just one moment. And then we need to drop our URL in there as well. <laughs> like so. Now we can request that code. So what you're going to see here, it goes to their website first and then redirects it to ours. And the code generates in the HTTPS body, right, the URL. So we copy that and then we need to drop it in to here. Like so. Now we can request for that token. If this happens, we can add an accept. Same as that. There you go. Sometimes you need to tell their server what you are sending. All right, as you can see, it's now sent us our 
access token and our refresh token. But these tokens, once again, only have a certain shelf life. In this case, it's 10,800 seconds. I don't know what that equates to, but I know that we can make it refresh itself so we get a new set of tokens. Um, and how we do that is now we can get rid of all of this as we need to use a different format now. So we can get rid of that and save it. Everything else stays the same. So now we go back to the wire sheet and we drop in a URL builder. And we're gonna call this HTTP body. So from here, you can go back onto their website and you can see that they have a bit for refreshing the access token. So we are going to use this but we are going to consolidate it into three lines instead of six, as you can see. So I've already copied this and populated it um, for my application. As you can see here, this is how I've separated it. So we have the first bit, and then in part two, we feed it the token from the previous requests and then just close it like that. So what we can do now is going to the wire sheet and in here we drop part one in like so part two we leave blank and then part three is just quote space and then a bracket back into here like so save and then back to here. So now we need to expose the body to feed this into, but then we also need to composite out the tokens. So the access token and the refresh token. So now we can feed this into here and the refresh token into part two. And now when we action this, we should receive our new tokens like so you can see that it's been a success so now what we can do is make this automatic update true save and refresh and make it 30 minutes now with any future requests after this they all use the bearer token authorization and that is this one here so in the next request we are going to ask for all the devices so if we go on to their website and we can see where is it device list this is the endpoint okay so from here we can copy this and then go back to the wire sheet drop an api request we'll call this devices and within there, we can drop that URL in there. HTTP method is get and authorization is now bearer token as we have gone through all the necessary steps to acquire that token. So now when we refresh it, that bearer token slot is opened up. We can pin that out and feed it the token. We should now be able to action this and it will send us all the devices we have on our account, like so. I'll use one of these as an example. The device type is the model and there is that serial number of that particular device. In these folders shows you uh, that's our office and within the office it is on the first floor in the main room. So now what we want to do is composite them to out So we want the ID, which is the serial number and name just for reference. And there's them too. All right, the next step is we want to pull the all the sensor readings from this sensor in particular. So the next thing we are going to want to do is pull another API request onto the sheet and we'll call this first floor main data and 
and then from here we are going to use the URL builder again and we're going to call this uh, s slash n url All right. so in here we are going to build the URL for the latest samples like this so from here you use the same URL from the previous request as you can see but now we've added a slash and in part two we're going to feed it that serial number in part three we are going to ask for the latest samples so it's going to look like this when we are done and with the serial number so we can save and come out of here and feed it that there now with this request method stays as get and authorization is bearer token like the previous request and save and refresh and there's that token slot again expose that slot and feed it this the access token once again this token can now be used for all future requests that relate to your id you have made so if we go back to the wire sheet and now we can feed it this url now when we request the data it should send it to us like so and as you can see this is all the stuff that that one particular sensor reads i hope you've enjoyed the video guys thanks for watching and see you again soon